California custom chopper builder. Okay, Steve, why don't you tell me about your latest build? Right, okay. This, so this is the one we looked at about a year ago when it was uh, when it was raw, basically. So since then, as you can see, it's painted and completed. Uh, so what are we going to look at? We're going to look at... So let's, let's look at the stuff that's non-standard. So the, the Speedo here is an electronic Speedo fed from the front wheel. You see that? Um, and, and the casing I've built for that. Now usually Speedos are fed off of the transmission, aren't Cor they? Yes, that's right, but aren't, it's a lot easier. Now uh, what was that transmission, what was that Speedo from? Oh, that was brand new. I, it's, uh, I bought it from uh, JP Cycles. It's brand oh, new. Oh, okay. But but I like the fact that the electronic ones because you can you can feed them off the front wheel or the back wheel, it just gives you a lot more uh, flexibility as to what you're doing. Um, and and, that, and the case there, as you can see, let me turn it on. You can see the see I've got the um, the neutral light, the oil light. You see that and the turn signal lights. Oh yeah. So that's um. Now you set up, you said before, you set the uh, schematic, the wiring, everything, you put that together on your own. Yeah, wiring's all mine. Um, as you can see, uh, it's all over the place, but I try to hide it. I've got, I've got to think about wiring. I don't like, I don't like seeing wiring. So it, there is quite a lot of it here, um, but it's all hidden in, in black sheathing, so it's, you can't see it too bad. See, see this box here? This, uh, yeah. There's a lot of electronic stuff inside there. So there's... Uh, there's connectors in there. There's a um, uh, what do you call it? It's it, it's the <laughs> I forgot the name of it. it. It's what you have to use when you're using um, when you're using LED lights because it balances the balances the load, load balancer. That's the word I'm looking okay. for. Okay. Um, and this little thing on the top here is something I I found in one of the magazines. It's uh, comes from Yugoslavia or somewhere out Eastern Europe somewhere. It's a, a turn signal self canceller, so, so it's got a gyro in there and all sorts of clever tricks. So you mean that every turn signal self canceller on bikes comes from Yugoslavia? No, I don't oh, mean that yeah, at all. Yeah. But I, uh, that's the only one that I've found as a standalone unit that you can wire up yeah, yourself. Um, does it work? I haven't got a clue. We'll find out. We'll find out when I take it out for a ride. Uh, what else we've got here? So I've got this large air cleaner. I'll be fairly careful with that because uh, I've had to build this um, this little bracket here to hold it. The, it's an SNS Super E car, and these things have got a these things have got a breather hole here, and 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 this car uh, so this air filter wasn't built for that, so I've had to. Fabricate that. Can you tell me about the engine and the, and okay. the frame and <clears throat> so, so, so the engine was uh, was a 1998 Evo. Uh, I bought the engine, the gearbox, starter. That, that was an insurance write-off. I bought that from a guy up in LA. Uh, brought it back here, and as you can see, it's um, it's all black now. It's black and gold. So I, I stripped it down, painted it. Well, cleaned it and then painted it. Cleaned it, cleaned it, cleaned it, cleaned it, painted it. So uh, I just like black. Black is good, in my, in my view. Um, the seat is uh, it's a fairly cheap seat, but it's been covered by an upholstery guy up in Poway. Made a good job of that, as as you can see. Uh, that's about the only thing I've done myself is that is this covering of the seat because because uh, I can't do that. The the rear light, I quite like the rear light here. This as you see here, this this housing mm -hmm. on, on the on the back of the fender there. I built that. That's uh, so it's got a, a steel frame. Uh, then then I built it up with layers of fiberglass mat and fiberglass resin, and then a good dollop of bondo on top of that to finish it off. And then you put the LED lights yeah, down here. That, let me tell you, this is going to blind your camera, but they're That's very it. bright. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're fantastic, aren't they? I mean, how can you get that much light out? It's such a small. And then you got your turn signals on either oh, side, right? Turns. I'll put one on one. There you go. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping that's okay. And when when this goes to be registered with the CHP, I'm not going to get too wound up about that, but we'll see. Mm-hmm. 
Well, it looks, it looks great. How long did it take you to put it all oh, together? This is about a year's worth of work, I think. Maybe just a bit more. I uh, spent a lot of time painting it and repainting it. It's a standard soft house shop, it's underneath. Oh yeah, here we are. <laughs> okay. Wow, what a great job you did putting this thing together. Right. Oh, well, now we're going to go... Uh, Give it the first time this is, this is, that you're going to try and start yeah. it since you got it. <laughs> right. All right. I don't know whether this is very wise letting you film this, but let's give it a go. No, oh, I'm surprised your battery went that long. Right. I bet one of the hoses is in tight. Mm, it's coming out. It's coming out the overflow. But that's quite a bit of gas. No, that's a lot of gas, yeah. That's, um, that, uh... You don't smoke, do you? No. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well... I think we better open the, open the back yeah. door. We'll get a bit of a breeze through it. Come on there. Okay, Steve, so what, what happened there with the big leak and then what did you do? Right. What was the problem? So the, the, uh, this is stupidity, basically, when, uh, when you put a new carb in, you t to put the initial setting on the, on the mixture screw, you have to turn it in right the way until it seats. Yeah, and then back and, off. And then back off a turn and a half or whatever it was. I'd got this, it wasn't even screwed in at all. It was way, way, way out. So that's why the, the gas was coming out the overflow. As soon as I sorted that, as you can hear, it, it, it fired yes. up immediately. And it sounds great. It sounded wonderful. <laughs> love it. I don't think the CHP are going to love it, but I did. No, they're going to make you put some uh, mufflers <laughs> yeah, on it, I think. Well, I'll do something too. But that's great. Yeah. Ended, ended good. Well, Steve, thanks for showing me and everybody else on YouTube uh, the, well, uh, the the first see, starting of a custom bike. Yeah, as you can see, I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh...
guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.